How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? This powerful quote from Marcus Aurelius perfectly encapsulates the essence of Stoicism, understanding that our reactions often cause more harm than the events themselves. In the quest to change our lives, we frequently get caught up in patterns of behavior and thoughts that seem impossible to break. But what if the key to real transformation isn't about doing more, but about embracing a few fundamental lessons that can change our perspective? Today, we'll explore seven life-changing lessons from Stoicism that, until truly understood and internalized, can make real change seem almost impossible. These aren't just abstract concepts, they are practical tools designed to help you navigate the complexities of life with greater clarity and purpose. Let's begin. Lesson 1. Embrace discomfort for growth. Transformation begins where your comfort zone ends. How often do we find ourselves avoiding challenges, opting instead for the path of least resistance? It's a natural instinct to seek comfort, but this avoidance comes at a cost, stagnation. The Stoics understood that growth and progress are born out of discomfort and adversity. Seneca once said, Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. A reminder that our minds, much like our bodies, require resistance to grow stronger. Embracing discomfort is not just about enduring hardship. It's about reframing how we perceive challenges. Instead of seeing obstacles as threats, what if we viewed them as opportunities to develop resilience? This is more than just philosophical thinking. It's supported by modern psychology, techniques like exposure therapy, which involve gradually facing fears, have proven effective in building mental resilience. Seneca also advised, to bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. This stoic principle teaches us that by meeting difficulties with composure, we diminish their power over us. Imagine approaching your daily challenges, whether in your career, relationships, or personal goals, with this mindset. By embracing discomfort, you begin to see each obstacle not as a setback, but as a stepping stone toward greater strength and resilience. Moreover, when you start to view discomfort as a necessary part of growth, you open yourself up to experiences that you might have previously shied away from. Whether it's taking on a new project, having a difficult conversation, or pushing your physical limits, these challenges become opportunities to expand your capabilities. By actively seeking out discomfort, you build the mental and emotional fortitude that makes lasting change possible. Incorporating this mindset into your life means consistently challenging yourself, not just when it's convenient, but as a regular practice. Over time, you'll find that what once seemed difficult becomes manageable and what was once unthinkable becomes achievable. Embrace discomfort as your ally in growth and watch as your life transforms in ways you never thought possible. Lesson 2. Master the art of letting go. The path to inner peace and personal transformation often begins with learning to let go. How many times have we found ourselves clinging to things, whether it's relationships, material possessions, or even outdated beliefs, only to be weighed down by them? The Stoics, with their deep understanding of human nature, emphasized the power of detachment. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most revered Stoic philosophers, reminds us, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This insight highlights that true strength comes from within, from the ability to control our reactions rather than the world around us. In today's society, where we are constantly bombarded with images of what success should look like, it's easy to fall into the trap of attaching our happiness to external achievements. We chase after approval, wealth and status, believing that these will bring us contentment. However, as Socrates wisely observed, 
He who is not contented with what he has would not be contented with what he would like to have. This quote underlines the Stoic belief that contentment is not found in acquiring more, but in appreciating what we already have and letting go of the need for constant external validation. Letting go is not about giving up or becoming indifferent. It's about acknowledging the boundaries of your influence and finding peace within those limits. For instance, think about the stress and anxiety that often come with trying to control every aspect of your life. The fear of failure, the need to meet others' expectations, or the desire for material wealth can become overwhelming burdens. By letting go of these attachments, you free yourself from the emotional turmoil they cause. This stoic approach is supported by modern psychological practices like acceptance and commitment therapy, ACT, which encourages individuals to accept what they cannot control and commit to actions that align with their values. By focusing on what you can control, your own thoughts, actions and reactions, you gain clarity and purpose, enabling you to live more intentionally and with greater fulfillment. Moreover, letting go allows you to focus on the present moment. When you stop worrying about outcomes and stop holding on to past regrets or future anxieties, you create space for growth and self-discovery. This mental shift can lead to a more purposeful life where your energy is directed towards what truly matters rather than being scattered on things beyond your control. In embracing the art of letting go, you also open yourself up to new possibilities. When you're not fixated on a specific outcome, you become more adaptable and open to change. This flexibility is a strength, allowing you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. By mastering this lesson, you liberate yourself from unnecessary suffering and create a foundation for a life of true contentment and inner peace. Lesson 3. Cultivate Inner Peace Through Mindfulness In our fast-paced, constantly connected world, finding moments of true peace can seem like an impossible task. However, Stoicism teaches us that inner peace is not about escaping from the world, but about cultivating a calm and focused mind amidst the chaos. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor and philosopher, wisely noted, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This quote underscores the Stoic belief that peace is something we carry within us, accessible at any moment if we choose to cultivate it. Mindfulness, a practice that aligns closely with Stoic principles, is about being fully present in the here and now. It involves observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment, allowing us to respond to situations with clarity rather than reacting impulsively. Sharon Salzberg, a modern mindfulness teacher, reminds us, Mindfulness isn't difficult. We just need to remember to do it. This simple yet profound statement echoes the stoic emphasis on the ease with which we can access mindfulness if we commit to it. Modern research backs the power of mindfulness showing that regular practice can reduce stress, improve emotional regulation, and enhance overall well-being. When we practice mindfulness, we create a mental space that allows us to step back from the hustle and bustle of daily life. This space is where true inner peace can be found, a peace that is not dependent on external circumstances, but rooted in a calm, centered mind. To start cultivating this inner peace, consider integrating mindfulness into your daily routine. Begin with just a few minutes each day, focusing on your breath or the sensations in your body. As you become more comfortable, you can expand your practice to include mindful walking, eating or even working. The goal is to bring your full attention to whatever you are doing, reducing the mind's tendency to drift into worries about the past or future. Additionally, mindfulness can help you become more aware of the negative thoughts and emotions that often disturb your peace. 
By observing these thoughts without getting caught up in them, you can begin to understand their root causes and choose how to respond. This conscious approach not only reduces stress, but also empowers you to live more intentionally, making decisions based on clarity rather than fear or anxiety. Over time, as you continue to practice mindfulness, you'll find that this inner peace becomes more accessible. It's not about eliminating all stress or negative emotions, those are natural parts of life, but about developing the ability to return to a state of calm when faced with challenges. By cultivating this skill, you build a resilient mind that can weather the storms of life without losing its center. In essence, mindfulness is the practice of turning inward, reconnecting with the quiet strength that lies within each of us. It's about finding refuge in your own soul, as Marcus Aurelius suggests, and carrying that peace with you wherever you go. This lesson, once internalized, can transform not only how you experience each day, but also how you approach life's inevitable difficulties. Lesson four, value time as your greatest asset. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. We often find ourselves caught up in distractions, allowing precious moments to slip away unnoticed. The Stoics, however, placed immense value on time, recognizing it as our most finite and irreplaceable resource. As Theophrastus, a philosopher and contemporary of Aristotle, once said, time is the most valuable thing a man can spend. This wisdom serves as a stark reminder that once time is spent, it can never be reclaimed. Consider how often we allow ourselves to be consumed by trivial pursuits, endless scrolling through social media, getting lost in unnecessary worries, or procrastinating on tasks that truly matter. The Stoics believed that such habits squander our most valuable asset and detract from a life lived with purpose. Instead, they urged us to be mindful of how we allocate our time, ensuring that each moment is used wisely and meaningfully. Marcus Aurelius, another great Stoic philosopher, emphasized the urgency of valuing time with his poignant reminder. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. This quote highlights the Stoic practice of memento mori, or remembering the impermanence of life. By constantly reminding ourselves that our time is limited, we become more intentional about how we choose to spend it, focusing on what truly matters rather than getting caught up in the insignificant. To truly value your time, start by conducting an honest audit of your daily activities. How much of your time is spent on things that bring you closer to your goals and align with your values? Are there activities that consume your time without adding real value to your life? By identifying these time wasters, you can make conscious decisions to eliminate or reduce them, freeing up more time for what truly matters. For instance, consider setting aside dedicated time each day for activities that nourish your mind and soul, whether it's reading, meditating, spending quality time with loved ones, or pursuing a passion. By prioritizing these meaningful activities, you ensure that your time is spent in ways that enrich your life and contribute to your personal growth. Additionally, setting boundaries is crucial in protecting your time. Learn to say no to commitments that don't align with your priorities. This doesn't mean becoming selfish or unkind, but rather being selective about where you invest your energy. Remember, every time you say yes to something that doesn't matter, you're saying no to something that does. Finally, embracing the stoic principle of focusing on the present moment can greatly enhance how you value your time. When you're fully engaged in the present, you're not wasting time on regrets about the past or anxieties about the future. Instead, you're making the most of each moment, living with intention and purpose. By valuing your time as your greatest asset, you begin to live more deliberately, 
ensuring that your actions and choices reflect what is truly important to you. This shift in mindset can lead to a more fulfilling and purposeful life, where every moment is cherished and used to its fullest potential. Lesson 5. Develop Emotional Resilience Life is inherently unpredictable, with challenges that can strike when we least expect them. Developing emotional resilience is crucial for navigating these ups and downs without losing our equilibrium. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Let the day's own trouble be sufficient for the day. This wisdom underscores the importance of focusing on the present and not allowing future uncertainties to rob us of our current peace. Emotional resilience isn't about suppressing emotions, but rather about managing them effectively. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus offered insight into this when he said, Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Often, it's not the actual challenges we face that cause the most stress, but the stories we tell ourselves about these challenges. By learning to differentiate between real concerns and imagined anxieties, we can maintain a more balanced emotional state. Modern psychology echoes the importance of resilience in maintaining mental well-being. Research on emotional intelligence shows that individuals who cultivate resilience are better equipped to handle stress, recover from setbacks, and maintain a positive outlook even in difficult times. This ability to bounce back from adversity is what allows us to move forward rather than being paralyzed by fear or doubt. One powerful way to build emotional resilience is through the practice of gratitude. When we focus on what we have rather than what we lack, we cultivate a mindset of abundance and reduce the power of negative emotions. For instance, Starting or ending your day by reflecting on a few things you're grateful for can significantly shift your perspective, making you more resilient in the face of challenges. This practice helps to ground you in the present, reminding you of the positives in your life even when things aren't going your way. Another effective method for developing resilience is self-reflection. Regularly taking time to reflect on your emotional responses can help you identify patterns and triggers that lead to anxiety or stress. By understanding these patterns, you can begin to change the way you react to challenges, replacing impulsive emotional responses with thoughtful, measured ones. For example, after a particularly stressful day, you might ask yourself, what caused me to feel this way? How could I have responded differently? What can I learn from this experience? Through self-reflection, you not only become more aware of your emotional habits, but also develop the ability to manage them better. This ongoing process of learning from your experiences strengthens your emotional resilience over time, allowing you to handle life's challenges with greater composure. Additionally, building emotional resilience can be supported by surrounding yourself with positive influences, whether through relationships, environments, or even the content you consume, ensuring that you're exposed to positivity and encouragement can bolster your ability to remain steady in turbulent times. Positive social interactions and supportive communities provide a buffer against stress, reminding you that you're not alone in your struggles. Ultimately, emotional resilience is about maintaining a steady course even when the seas are rough. By focusing on the present, practicing gratitude, engaging in self-reflection, and surrounding yourself with positivity, you develop the inner strength needed to face life's inevitable challenges. As you build this resilience, you'll find that you're not only better equipped to handle adversity, but also more capable of living a life of peace, purpose, and fulfillment. Lesson six. Practice radical acceptance. Life is unpredictable, filled with twists and turns that often diverge from our plans. The stoic lesson of practicing radical acceptance is about learning to embrace life in all its forms, both the good 
and the challenging. Friedrich Nietzsche, inspired by Stoic philosophy, encapsulates this idea with the phrase Amor Fati, which translates to love your fate, which is in fact your life. This concept urges us to not just accept, but to love everything that happens in our lives, understanding that each event, no matter how difficult, plays a role in our personal growth. Everything that happens, happens as it should, and if you observe carefully, you will find this to be so, Marcus Aurelius wisely noted. This perspective teaches us that every experience, whether joyful or painful, has a purpose. By observing life through this lens, we begin to see that each moment is a stepping stone in our journey, guiding us toward wisdom and resilience. Radical acceptance doesn't mean passivity or resignation. Instead, it's about acknowledging the reality of your situation without unnecessary resistance. It's the understanding that fighting against what you cannot change only leads to frustration and suffering. Modern psychology, particularly through acceptance and commitment therapy, ACT, emphasizes this principle, showing that accepting life's realities can lead to significant reductions in stress and improvements in overall well-being. To practice radical acceptance, start by identifying areas in your life where you feel resistance. Are there circumstances you wish were different, but that are beyond your control? Perhaps it's a challenging relationship, a setback at work, or even a health issue. Instead of expending energy wishing these circumstances were different, try to accept them as they are. This doesn't mean you have to like these situations, but by accepting them, you free yourself from the mental and emotional burden of constant resistance. For example, consider a situation where you faced rejection, be it in a personal relationship or a professional setting. Instead of allowing that rejection to breed resentment or self-doubt, embrace it as part of your journey. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can this setback serve as a stepping stone for my growth? This mindset shift allows you to transform what might initially seem like a negative experience into an opportunity for personal development. Furthermore, practicing radical acceptance can enhance your relationships. Often, conflicts arise when we try to change others or resist their behaviors. By accepting people as they are, flaws and all, you create more harmonious interactions and deepen your connections. This doesn't mean tolerating harmful behavior, but rather understanding that everyone has their own journey and that acceptance can often lead to more meaningful and supportive relationships. Another practical application of radical acceptance is in dealing with personal shortcomings. We all have areas where we fall short of our ideals, but instead of harshly judging ourselves, we can choose to accept our imperfections as part of being human. This self-acceptance is crucial for mental and emotional health, allowing us to grow from a place of understanding and compassion rather than self-criticism. By embracing radical acceptance, you learn to flow with life's currents rather than swimming against them. This acceptance not only reduces stress, but also opens the door to a more peaceful and fulfilling existence. It allows you to appreciate life's complexity and beauty, even in the face of adversity. As you practice this lesson, you'll find that life becomes less about fighting battles you cannot win, and more about embracing the journey with grace and resilience. Lesson 7. Take full responsibility for your life. The final and perhaps most empowering lesson from Stoicism is the importance of taking full responsibility for your life. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, famously said, It is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This principle emphasizes that while we may not control the events that happen to us, we always have control over our reactions. In a world where it's easy to blame others or external circumstances for our difficulties, Stoicism reminds us that true power lies in our ability to choose our response. 
Self-control is strength. Right thought is mastery. Calmness is power. James Allen, a philosopher deeply inspired by Stoic thought, highlights the essence of Stoicism in this quote. Taking responsibility for your life means acknowledging that you are the architect of your own destiny, not by manipulating external events, but by mastering your thoughts, emotions and actions. This realization is the cornerstone of personal growth and self-mastery. Imagine the shift in your life when you start seeing challenges not as obstacles imposed upon you, but as opportunities to demonstrate your strength and resilience. When you take full responsibility, you stop giving away your power to circumstances or other people. Instead, you claim your power by accepting that while you cannot control everything that happens, you can control how you interpret and respond to those events. This mindset shift can be life-changing. For example, in a difficult situation, rather than asking, why is this happening to me? You might instead ask, what can I learn from this? Or how can I grow from this experience? By changing the narrative, you move from a place of victimhood to a place of empowerment. To put this lesson into practice, begin by reflecting on areas in your life where you've been placing blame on others or on circumstances beyond your control. Ask yourself, in what ways am I responsible for the outcomes in this situation? And what can I do differently moving forward? This process of reflection helps you to identify where you can take back control and make conscious, empowered decisions. For instance, if you've been blaming a lack of success in your career on external factors, such as a difficult boss or a challenging economy, consider how your own actions, attitudes or decisions may have contributed to your current situation. Could you improve your skills, network more effectively or approach your job search with a different mindset? By focusing on what you can change, you shift from a passive stance to an active one taking charge of your life's direction. Taking responsibility also involves acknowledging your past mistakes without dwelling on them. It's about learning from these experiences and using them as stepping stones for future success. As the Stoics believed, every setback is an opportunity to practice virtue, to develop patience, resilience and wisdom. Moreover, this lesson extends to your relationships. How often do conflicts arise because we refuse to take responsibility for our own part in the problem? By owning your actions and being willing to admit when you're wrong, you not only improve your relationships, but also demonstrate true strength of character. This willingness to take responsibility can disarm conflict and lead to more meaningful and harmonious connections with others, Ultimately, taking full responsibility for your life means embracing the idea that you are in charge of your own happiness and success. It's about rejecting the notion that life happens to you and instead embracing the belief that life happens for you. Every experience, whether positive or negative, is a chance to grow, learn and become a better version of yourself. As you move forward, remember that this lesson is not about perfection, but about progress. It's about continually striving to make better choices and to respond to life's challenges with grace and wisdom. By taking full responsibility for your life, you empower yourself to create a future that aligns with your values, dreams and highest potential. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. B1. The seven lessons from Stoicism we've explored are far more than abstract philosophical ideas. They are powerful, practical tools designed to help you reshape your life. By embracing discomfort, releasing what you can't control, cultivating inner peace, valuing your time, developing emotional resilience, practicing radical acceptance, and taking full responsibility for your life you can dismantle the habits and mindsets that have been holding you back. As Seneca wisely observed, 
Until we have begun to go without them, we fail to realize how unnecessary many things are. This highlights the importance of shedding what's unnecessary, whether it's material possessions, limiting beliefs, or toxic habits. The journey of personal transformation starts with small intentional steps, rooted in these stoic principles. As you begin to apply them, you'll discover that change isn't just possible, it's inevitable. Now is the time to move beyond merely understanding these principles and start living them. Stop being overly accommodating of the limitations you place on yourself and begin to embrace the life you are truly capable of achieving. The path to becoming the best version of yourself is within reach. Are you ready to take it?